Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me everyone with another news video for you guys. I am starting to do segments here in my channel of just news, so you'll probably see a lot of these coming out randomly here in my channel. Uh, if you're new, welcome. I typically focus mainly on anime, but I do, I, I want to expand more outside of that. And today's news is a big one. Uh, and, and, and I'll explain why I say it's pretty big for what's what really is happening uh but before anything if you have not done so by now guys make sure you subscribe to my channel uh let me know if i should be doing more of these news videos or if i'm just wasting my time i don't know <laughs> i i really i i mean i'm enjoying doing these videos and i think it's fun so uh yeah just let me know in the comment section and i'll I'll, I'll take your opinion in consideration. Today's news, and really one, I'll, I'll be posting multiple news videos. Uh, this is going to be on Mulan, Mulan the movie. Now, Mulan uh, the movie, the live action movie, was announced years ago and has re really been anticipated by a lot of people for multiple reasons. One, who the actors were going to be. People were very up in arms to know who was going to be the Asian actors were was this Asian based movie gonna be well represented or not right that was there's a whole drama there but now with COVID and in theaters being closed and some are reopening but some are already closing because numbers have skyrocketed again Disney really has to do something about their release release of movies if if you are any type of American and went to the movies on a Friday night, you would have noticed something unique in the past, I would say, five, four years. Half of the movies, if not more, were always produced by Disney, right? In some sort or way. There was always a Star Wars movie, a Marvel movie, a cartoon movie, a live action movie, uh, uh, you know, a, a just a regular type of action movie, uh, a, a kid's uh, youthful movie. It, all these were produced by some, some way or somewhat connected to Disney. So you knew that the, the theaters were banking because of Disney and Disney was banking because of the theater. So it, it, very good teamwork right there, right? So theaters are closed. What happens? Disney really needs to work on something. Um, and they released their, 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 I guess, hit cartoon movie or the one that was going to be the hit. I can't even think of the name right now. Um, uh, Bounded, Unbound, uh, Westbound, not Westbound. I think it's Unbound. Anyways, it's a cartoon movie um, about a guy searching for his dad uh, or being able to resurrect his dad for one day. And... Did it do so good? I don't think it did as great as it would have done in theaters, but people are saying it, it didn't do so bad. Now, Mulan is going to be a little bit different. Mulan it was announced that it's going to be premiering in Disney+. Plus. At, at just that huge, huge thing. A lot of people are saying, is Disney going to now eventually switch into just premiering stuff online? Possibly, guys. Theaters might not reopen in anytime soon and those that will reopen will still struggle to main, maintain to be open so many people are not even want to go to the movies now granted there is a group of people that will go to the movies that maybe um i don't want to say they don't care but will take precautions with the virus and we'll realize that theaters probably won't be packed as usual so some people might go but I see a lot of theaters closing in the next few months, um, and and because of them closing, Disney really needs to figure out a new plan. And it looks like this is going to be the new plan. Mulan's releasing on Disney Plus Premiere. That was the big news, but you have to read deeper because there is stuff to keep in mind. Um, the, the the biggest thing is the day, September 4th. Uh, it, it's being pushed a little bit longer. September 4th is now when it's being released. Um, there is not really a theatrical release uh, in mind right now. They probably will. I, I, I'm going to assume they might eventually do one. But right now, there's none to be considered. Um, 
now this is the biggest one and and people are are really upset about right Mulan will be available for streaming on Disney Plus on September 4th for a price of 29.99 29.99 guys that's going to be $30 on top of what you pay monthly for this for you to be able to rent it doesn't even give us these speculations what rent means is that a one time watch is that a whole week is that for the whole month that you paid for your subscription or is that just for you know just one day what does that mean we don't have all those answers yet but for just one rent you have to pay $30 now i understand what disney is saying it's saying well Two of you people, if you know, if you're a couple, or if you have four kids, you guys would have spent sixty dollars. You guys would have spent at least thirty dollars in the theater. But keep in mind, so many other people have Disney Plus and are single. And I am not, but other people are, and they're they're saying, why is why is so expensive, right? Why is it so expensive? So I I, I understand the mindset of people. I really do. We are already paying a, a subscription. Um, and there is a poll that I've already made here in their in their uh, Twitter. Um, will you rent Mulan Disney Plus for $30? As you can see, 85.3%. 85.3%, guys. 85% of the people said, no. I'm not paying $30 for a movie. Now, why are people saying this? Well, you know, it it, lo it lost its traction, right? Disney really built up movies in theaters as well as other means of ways. But you really have to be out in society socializing to get all these ads that Disney implement in your brain and in your head that this is going to be a great movie and you have to watch it, right? So... Without all that happening, without us being influenced, I guess you can say, we now have come into a point where we're like, you know what, I'll just wait another freaking three months when Disney decides to release it for free on their Disney Plus app, right? Um, and to be honest, I'm probably in that group. Now, granted, 93,751 votes only uh obviously the u.s is way bigger than that but i would say 93,000. let's round up to 94,000. is is pretty good decent number to say um i would say most people are leaning on the side of 30 dollars. i think not we are already struggling with paying our bills i don't know if we can even afford at this point more stuff like this so um it, it it really looks like people are upset about it from from what I've read on the comments. I don't want to show too many comments because uh, I don't want to make the mistake of showing bad comments <laughs> uh, where people are cussing out. But uh, it looks like six sixty point five million subscribers already for Disney Plus. Disney knows that they can bank from that, and maybe they're hoping that eventually, if we see it enough on Disney Plus will eventually cave in and rent it but who knows for now guys it's up to you guys september 4th you have about a month to decide if you're going to want to rent this movie for me i probably will wait for it to be released on disney plus because why not i'm waiting for so much other so many other things i can wait a little bit longer for mulan uh and that's just that's just the truth thank you guys so much for watching this video again subscribe to my channel comment like and share uh what i should uh make sure you comment what i should be doing with these with the series should i focus on just anime or should i be doing stuff like this expanding my uh horizons and really talking about other stuff other than anime and manga let me know in the comment section thank you so much for your love and support guys uh make sure you do subscribe and hit the bell button and guys like always don't be strangers. See you guys.